So this is another uh, scripture or Bible verse from the book of John. It's uh, chapter 14, verse 14. Jesus said, if you ask me for anything in my name, I will do it. And when it comes to this chapter as a whole, it basically serves as Jesus's address to his disciples. You know, the soon coming crucifixion, um, unfortunately, you know, would leave his followers uh, confused. It'll leave his followers scared. So, you know, Jesus provided them with assurance. He provided them with comfort, you know, regarding a number of different things, you know, including how, you know, they would carry on his work. And part of that comfort was the promise that Jesus would hear and answer their prayers. And like the verse says, Jesus tells them that anything they ask in my name will be granted to them. Now, Jesus is not promising to be a personal vending machine, if that makes sense. You know, if anything, he's encouraging faithfulness in prayer. He's even encouraging confidence in prayer. And, you know, when Jesus says to pray in my name, he basically means that we can pray in his authority. You know, he has provided, you know, the access that we need in order to get to heaven. You know, when when our requests, you know, that's made in the name of his son, you know, it it pretty much um, it furthers um, the Lord's purposes and the Lord's kingdom. And, you know, he will act on our behalf. And in the end, you know, the father will be glorified in the son. You know, so, you know, coming to the Lord in Jesus' name is, you know, similar to, um, you know, like old financial transactions. Like, like you got to think like Jesus holds the account and, you know, we are welcome, you know, to come to the Father in Jesus' name in order to receive what, whatever it is that we may need. You know, the Father willingly you know, grants our requests because of Jesus' standing. And of course, you know, if we're asking for things that we don't need or that are the contrary to, you know, the character or will of Christ, then, you know, we cannot expect to receive those things. You know, and so I'll just leave it with this, you know. Um, When he said he would give whatever you ask in my name, Jesus was not delivering a, um, how should I put it, like a magical formula, you know, for getting whatever we want. Like he was giving us a principle, like a guiding principle to, you know, align one's desires with the Lord's. And when we pray in Jesus name, you know, we pray according to the will of the Lord. You know, we pray for what will honor, what will glorify Jesus. And the Lord will provide you know, the means necessary in order to accomplish his objectives. And remember, he always equips us as his servants. So ultimately, you know, the Lord receives all the glory and the praise for what he has done. Amen. I thank you guys for listening in. I just wanted to give a, you know, my synopsis on this scripture here, like what it means and things like that. So But y'all take care, continue to be blessed, stay safe, stay hydrated, and have a good one.